All right, folks, we are back with episode two of How to Trade BitMEX Like a Pro. And this episode um, is going to teach you guys how to trade like a pro. It's going to be real simple. So our subjects for today, our lessons, number one, are going to be using what is called our ley lines. Number two is how to use the Bollinger Bands. And then we're going to talk about how to read bots and spoofies and institutions that are playing with the one, two, three, four million dollar orders and what to do. So number one, and you know, we're going to talk about stop losses as well and hike in a sheet candles. Let's get after it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our some footage from a live stream last night. So if you look at this graph here, we have our ley lines. What all of you need to do, number one, is go to your candles. Okay. You're going to click on this cog wheel. And you're going to set your candles to Hiken Ashi. What that does is it turns, if it's going down, all the candles are red. If it's going up, all their candles are green. So it makes a much easier on the mind, less mental stress, much easier to read patterns. It's all about reading patterns, right? You know, if it's going green, you're probably going to want to sell after a little while. If it's going red, you're going to want to buy after a little while. And that's it, okay? Now, our lines, where should you draw them? So you draw them at the tops and the bottoms of important parts, okay? Tops and bottoms. So if you take a look here, right? Boom. We had a little window right here of these two tops. So we drew a line down and it we were chilling and waiting right so this slowly creeped up on this line this line right here came right after a dump so right after a dump we're on the three minute chart three minute candles after about one two three four five six three minute candles we have a decently established uh bottom here and we set a line shot it across and look where we were crawling up right we're on 44.28. Okay, so if we scoop back, see we were crawling up this line to a breaking point right here and where you're going to see what's going to happen next, right? So we drew our lines. Let's go back a little bit. This was before we drew this line, so we're about to draw that line. Let's go to 44.28 and you guys are going to see what's going to happen next. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit play we can adjust this um, I'll be here you know what I mean I'll be here coming to a breaking point watch what I say now let's see what happens next we're right on the line look we're right on the let's line see if we bing bounce right off down from it so he said see if we're gonna bing right down from it and watch what I say next so if the trend is our friend this is when we sh this is when you know we add let's let's go ahead and put a little skin in the game why not a little skin in the game folks and enter a short that there's three mil right here okay see so we set so if the trend is our friend until the end that's the lesson so if the trend is our friend it's going down we are at the breaking point right here we followed both lines where we entered a short at 64.49 let's see what happened next we had one red candle form Boom! Show me any other channel where you just get gold just like that. You guys just saw his fucking sold thing. at the top. All because of ley lines. Look, boom. The trend is our friend. And look, we have the bottom trend right here. Okay? So there's no RSI indicators on here. It's all ley lines. Draw your windows in the three minute, in the five minute, in the fifteen minute. Zoom out, right? So let's go ahead. So right now what we're doing is we're waiting for this dump. And then we're going to look for a new window. Okay. So lesson number one 
Ley lines. Ley lines. Spirits roll through. Ley lines are spiritual highways. Same thing with crypto. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but it's more likely. These lines are going to give you the likely support and resistance of the future. Draw lines on tops and bottoms. Play around and you'll figure it out. Now, lesson number two, we're gonna talk about Bollinger Bands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on indicators, we're gonna type BB for Bollinger Bands. Now we have our Bollinger Band. Now, here's the trick with Bollinger Bands. When we were trading with trade bots, there were people at the time trying to use Bollinger Bands to enter trades and they were getting wrecked. So if you see here, if you're trying to enter trades on the bottom of a Bollinger Band, it's going to keep buying and you're going to keep getting wrecked and dumpstered. So the secret to Bollinger Bands, folks, Bollinger Bands is currently the worst indicator you can use to buy, but it is the best indicator that you can use to sell, to know when to short. Look, now, Bollinger Bands, do not use them on the one minute. No, 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 no one minute. You can use them on the three minute and the five. Look, every time it hits the top, besides a pump, so besides a major pump, obviously, right? And you should be able to know what's a major pump and what's just a chill one, if you boom, sell at the top you sold at the bottom sell at the top sold at the bottom bollinger bands are bearish use bollinger bands on the five minute if you're super conservative you can use it on the 15 minute look boom bollinger band okay so that's a pump we want to stay away once it starts leaving the pump though boom you can enter because you were at the top right so bollinger bands used to sell used to short it is going to change your trading life. Mm. All right. So, so far, today's lesson, you've learned how to draw lines, draw your lines on the tops and the bottoms. Use Bollinger Bands to short. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now, let's talk about spoofy let's talk about how to know and how to read this action how to know if someone's putting an order on the books and taking it away or if it's actually getting eaten so normally i have this recent trade books closed there's too much but when you're seeing a two million dollar order pop up here or a five million you want to keep a look at the recent trades to see that if that order is actually being eaten into or if they're just taking it out and putting it back in to manipulate the price, right? Sometimes there's two. So right now, right? Look, this thinned out, this is called a, a thin out, that it's knifing. Now, the price is either gonna go up where the knife gets thick, or it's gonna do the opposite. If it's doing the opposite, let's say, see this thins out, there's someone's taking their money off the buy side and they're hitting the take orders. So just because there's a bot there doesn't mean that the price is being manipulated reverse. You have to look at it five or six times to see what it's doing, right? So boom, okay, the price is 62.91. It's knifing, we're gonna see if it goes up or we're gonna see if it reverses. Let's find out right now. We're looking at the order book to see there's small, small orders coming in. So right now it's okay play action so boom the price went up so right now when these thin out the price is going up okay sometimes it does the opposite boom there's hundred thousand dollar orders mostly it's three thousand one thousand so these guys are trying to manipulate the price so now that you see boom so it thinned out so the price look it thinned out so most likely we're going to see if the price is going to go down to 62.91 right now let's find out right now look 1.6 million okay they're putting up a wall there this is a false wall or it could be real. We're checking the order book to see if the numbers are realistic. Look, paper thin. There's no orders on the buy book. So they're either buying into the wall to weaken the wall 
These guys are gonna smash this price down. This is super intense right now. Super intense. Look how thin this is. This is knifing. Look, boom, see it went down. So when you see that, now we know, okay, when it's knifing, I can enter a quick entry or exit. They're either pulling the cart, they're pulling the carpet from under you and reversing the price, or they're pushing it down after it knifes on the volume. Okay? Now I know that's probably tough to to absorb. Um, I don't even know if anything I said really was simple enough for everyone to get, but you can watch this video back and forth and understand it. But th these are not natural. The 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, those aren't the market. Those are either A, big players, those are B, bots, or both. Look, see, 1.1 million, 2, 8 million, 62.85. We're going to see it thinned out. The price is going to go down. So I could enter a short right now banking that we're going to go down to where the, the book opens up again. Okay? Now, let's talk about stop losses. Most of the time, your stop loss is going to end up getting you screwed. Here, uh, how can I? Okay, so this was our chart from last night. We were shorting the top, right? And we had this poopy stop loss up here. And I'm gonna be honest, guys. Half of my order got, it came up here, ate the stop loss, and then went right back down. So wherever you think you should put your stop loss, that's where everyone else is thinking. Put it back even more. You see, these bots, these guys will come up and eat your stop loss or come down and eat your stop loss on purpose because they know everyone's using that. So, yes, you're going to want to set your stop losses um, real loose and back. Technically, I rarely use them. I only use stop losses on certain trades where it's like if it hits this point, there's no going back. So, if I got to take a 70%, or a 60% loss on a trade, you know, that's that's the only way to have your stop loss done successfully or else it'll just eat it and go right back down and you're gonna wanna kick yourself in the ass, okay? So draw your lines, draw the lines, okay? At the bottoms, look for confirmation candles. Use the three minute and the five minute for Bollinger Bands, not the one minute. This guys is all you need. All you need to be successful is to know how to draw, to know how to use the draw tool, and you are also gonna know the future. I wish live right now, we, you know, we'll be live right now. There's no lines I can really draw, you know? I mean, maybe, yeah, there's, 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 we have to wait for this trend, for this dump to happen. After the dump is when the windows start opening up, okay? Draw your ley lines. Bollinger bands are bearish. Use the Bollinger Bands on the three minute and the five minute. Sell at the top of the bands unless it is pumping. Look, if you, if you, look, here, boom, we're on the Bollinger Band on the five minute, bing, it touches it. If you sold right here, you would have made a nice profit. Bing, you did it again, boom. Now look, this is going up the Bollinger Band, but you see it's, it's eating into it, it's pumping. So hands off, and we, you wait until you see it comes back down. In fact, if we go, God, this was such an amazing call right here. We hit it on the dollar. It hit our lines. We had support right here forming from these candles. Whoosh, stuck to it. I'm telling you, you guys are going to see it's like magic. You're going to be like, oh my God. Because this is what the programs are doing. This is what the bots are doing. Trade like a bot. I am showing you guys how to trade like a programmed algorithm to bot. So if you can't beat them, join them. Mm. that's it guys they just write equations for finding the tops of trends and the, and the trend is your friend until the end so you will ride these trends and then eventually yeah you'll see when the window's closing and it's becoming risky exit that's another thing is know when to stop when the trend is coming to an end things are going to get much more risky boom look at this Bollinger Band Look at that Bollinger Band. Look at both those Bollinger Bands.
Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, okay? What else? So guys, that is officially episode two of how to trade BitMEX like a pro. Use your lines. They are magic. If you want to be successful, if you're brand new to BitMEX today, do two things in order to trade. Put on the Bollinger Bands because shorting is the way to go in the market right now. It's much safer to short than it is to long. Flip on the Bollinger Bands on the three and five minute. Draw your lines. Use hike in a sheet candles. Don't really use stop losses. If you are going to use a stop loss, make sure that it's farther behind than what you originally want because it will go up and eat it god bless you happy trading oh and i would certainly appreciate if you use my bitmex affiliate link if you already have a bitmex account make another one if you're going to be using my signals in the discord which if you come on in the discord we are kicking ass we are kicking ass we have a mastermind community in here no joke we got some guys that are serious traders serious whales serious traders guys i've been doing it for 10 20 30 years that are successful they keep it simple don't listen to these youtubers trying to overcomplicate things and make it seem like they have a million indicators and all that keep it simple stupid 90 percent of all the traders out there are trying to do all these complicated things just stick with the shapes stick with the ley lines stick with bollinger bands in fact, it was the Bollinger Bands that made this channel famous when we first hit the double scrotum. Okay? So please use my affiliate link. If you have to make another account, do it. You get 10% off. Let me know. And you're going to be entered into a raffle to win a special prize. Check it out. Now you can get your Crypto Face mug, the first special edition. This is going to be an article of history. One day one day oh by the way we are still doing the nfl preseason uh sports betting it's 150 dollars. we are currently four and one we have a game today hopefully we're going to go five and one uh preseason football is the best time to bet on sports all year long it's the best four weeks practices are open the coaches release the players that are going to be playing um, when the season, when week one starts, everything's closed down. It's like a prison. You can't get in. You can't get out. Directions are in the description. Guys, go kick some ass. Forget about the RSI. Forget about all those stupid indicators. Wait for after a dump. Draw lines at the tops and the bottoms and just immerse yourself. Immerse yourself. And you're going to be surprised. You are going to start nailing trades better than anyone you know. And you can do it. You guys can do this. BitMEX is simple. It's simple enough. Make sure you're using post only. Post only on every trade, no matter what, or you're going to get screwed on fees. I don't have the recent trade things ever open unless I'm trying to figure out if, the, if these guys are pulling the carpet or if they're spoofing the price backwards or forwards. Knock them dead. Happy.